Sai sees his crush at a party and wants to flirt with her, but doesn't know where to start. There are a million thoughts running through his mind. What's she gonna say when I approach her? Is she gonna like me? What if I get rejected? If you can relate to Sai's situation and feel like you sometimes don't know what to do when you're flirting, keep watching. In this video, we're going to teach you three proven ways to flirt effortlessly so that you can feel confident the next time you talk to your crush. Number one, proceed with caution. Sai is standing with his friends, trying to work up the courage to talk to his crush. He's thinking about all the best pickup lines and which one he should use. I've got it. He thinks. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh boy. Let's get Sai some help, stat. Instead of being so forward, Sai can try using a more gentle approach. A study published in the journal Personality and Individual Differences identified nine factors to successful flirting. They found that taking a gentle approach was proven to be one of the most effective ways to flirt. Some characteristics of the gentle approach include discreetness, respect, seriousness, not moving too fast, maturity, politeness, patience, and kindness. Taking it slow and being nice to the person you're flirting with can go a long way. And luckily, both of these things don't take much effort. Plus, taking the gentle approach helps you ease into things and helps you get a better feel of whether or not they're into you too. Tie signs. A study conducted by Wade and colleagues found that tie signs were the most effective way to flirt. Tie signs are body language and behaviors that suggest an existing bond with someone. Some of the most successful tie signs are making eye contact, laughing at jokes, and touching, such as subtly touching a person's arm or hugging them if they feel comfortable. Give these tips a try next time you flirt. Tie signs not only signal to the person you're flirting with that you're interested in them, but also signals to others not to approach. In an article published in Bride, Joel Wade, presidential professor of psychology at Bucknell University and one of the study's authors, says that tie signs have this effect because most people don't wanna be known as someone who steals other people's potential partners. So if someone else is interested in your crush, act like you're already with them. Tie signs like eye contact and laughing can steer others away which can help get rid of any awkward competition. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. And number three, call a friend. This one is good for introverts who are interested in someone, but who are too shy to introduce themselves to them directly. A third party introduction has been proven to be the best opening line if you wanna pique someone's interest. This subtly means having a friend or acquaintance introduce you to the person you're interested in. A study published in the journal Communication Research Reports tested five different opening lines and asked participants to rate how appropriate and effective they were. These included introducing yourself directly, giving a compliment, cracking a joke, using cute flippant lines, and third-party introductions. The study found third-party introductions as the most effective and direct, and third-party introductions as the most appropriate Opening with a compliment, a joke, or a cute flippant line were all rated as inappropriate and ineffective. Sorry, Sai, you're gonna have to save those corny pickup lines for another time. Here's the takeaway. Next time you see someone you're interested in, ask a mutual friend who knows them to introduce you. Or if you see that special someone talking to a person you know, join in on the conversation. Say hi to your acquaintance and let them introduce you. This one is so low effort, you don't even have to do much to kick off the conversation. Once you get the chance to talk to your crush alone, remember to take the gentle approach and maintain eye contact as a tie sign. Your second best option is just to walk up to them and introduce yourself. Remember, no jokes or pickup lines, just be you. You got this. All right, Psych2Goers, you know what time it is. We wanna hear all your thoughts and experiences about this topic. Have you tried any of these tips before? What advice do you have about flirting? share in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.